hello friends and welcome to youtube channel freedom tech and in this session what we are going to learn in this session we are going to detect objects with the help of tensorflow light and then we have here text to speech program which basically convert our text into speech it means when a tensorflow light detect object let's say it's detect a person so it will speak like this way there is a one person or there is a two person or we can say if there is another object it will say uh, let's say if there is a chair so it will say there is a chair because we have text to speech program okay so before we move to our practical friends if you learn something from our videos please consider to subscribe our channel okay friends thank you so much and let's get started so friends for that first we need here let us open cv and tensorflow light okay so i have already installed open cv okay this is the repository i will mention link of repository inside my description box you need to simply copy paste the link inside the browser then go to the code here copy the link and we are going to clone our repository okay so run the command like this way git clone and paste the link of our repository and just hit enter it will clone our repository now we have our repository now we need to simply run the command cd and our repository name is raspbian legacy just hit enter now here ls command and as you can see we have here install.sh and tensorflow light sh uh, bash script okay so first we need to change the permission okay so run the command like this way ch mode 775 and install dot sh then tensorflow hyphen light dot sh okay and remember one thing friends this is a raspbian buster legacy version 32 bit version this is not a bullseye okay this is a raspbian buster legacy version 32 bit okay so if i run the command ls here it is as you can see the color is changed it means we have successfully give full permission okay so now simply what we want to do we want to run the command like this way bash space install.sh and hit enter it will automatic install latest open cv version which is 4.6.0 on raspbian buster okay so i have already installed open cv with the help of install.sh bash script that's it now what we want to do we want to simply install tensorflow light.sh so simply we are going to run the command like this way bash and sorry i forgot to mention sudo so run the command like sudo then bash and our bash script name which is a tensorflow hyphen light.sh and just hit enter uh, it will basically clone the examples folder okay and then inside that examples we have raspberry pi folder and from uh, folder we are going to install tensorflow light okay so right now it will just clone example folder okay and friends as you can see it successfully clone our examples folder as you can see so if i run here ls command now as you can see we have here examples folder so run just clear okay and what we want to do we want to simply go to the file manager okay and then we have here our raspbian legacy folder then examples folder then we have light folder then again examples folder and here we are going to uh, go inside object detection folder as you can see object detection and then we have here raspberry pi folder simple and from here what we want to do we want to open requirements.txt file so right click text editor it will open requirement.txt with the help of text editor okay so as you can see this is what our file so as i mentioned we install latest open cv version so here it is as you can see it is old version 4.5.3.56 so we need to change the version so 4.6.0 that's it simply go to the file click on save and it will save the change as you can see fail to save the document why because permission denied so simply what we are going to do here we are going to simply open our terminal and we are going to change the owner okay so sudo sudo ch own space hyphen capital r then pi is the user colon pi is again group and our repository name which is raspbian legacy and just hit enter it will it will basically change the owner okay so now if i go here we change our version 4.6.0 now if i go to the file click on save and that's it as you can see we have successfully saved because we changed the owner okay so just close 
Now what we want to do? Now we successfully change the version. Now what we want to do? We want to run the setup.sh sample. So just close all these things and again we are going to go inside uh, CD Raspbian legacy folder. Then we have examples folder. Then inside that we have light folder. Then again examples folder. Then again we have object detection. So just run obj and press tab button it will automatic complete object object detection okay as you can see it's auto completed object detection and then inside that we have raspberry pi folder just hit enter okay so as you can see right now we are inside raspberry legacy examples light examples object detection and raspberry pi folder so if i run here ls command so this is the uh, script okay as you can see setup.sh which we want to run for installing tensorflow Lite. so run like this way sudo bash and setup.sh just hit enter so now it will install tensorflow Lite on our raspbian buster legacy version okay so friends as you can see we have successfully installed our tensorflow light okay so we have done with installation of our tensorflow light and open cv now we are ready and i am going to simply minimize terminal now what we want to do we want to simply open our thony python id okay so it will open thony python id and then go to the file click on open then go to the pi and then raspberry legacy folder examples folder then light then examples then here again we need to search for object detection then raspberry pi and detect.py is our main script so just click on ok and it will open detect.py now simply we are going to run our code and as you can see friends it's detected person so it means our tensorflow light is perfectly work okay as you can see so now what we want to do as i mentioned we successfully detect our objects with the help of tensorflow light now we want to convert the object with speech text to speech okay so for that what we want to do go to the file again click on open then same folder raspberry pi and here we have utils.py simply click on the utils.py and click on okay inside our tony python id simply scroll down okay and first what we want to do as i mentioned we are going to convert our text into speech so for that we need here a gtts module okay so let me clear the screen terminal and here now simply run the command cd and come out from raspberry pi folder so now we are slash home slash pi we are inside a slash home slash pi and here we are going to install our package so run the command like this way sudo pip3 install gtts okay gtts simple just hit enter it will install gtts module which basically convert our text into speech now we need here a uh, player okay so sudo pip3 sorry not pip3 because we are going to install a system command so we are going to use apt okay so sudo apt install system package okay so sudo apt install and the package name is mpg321 player which we are going to install so sudo space apt install mpg321 and just hit enter it will install mpg321 on our, on our raspbian buster legacy version okay so i have already installed that's it so sudo pip3 install gtts it will install gtts then sudo apt install mpg321 it will install mpg321 player on our raspbian buster legacy version that's it we have done now what we want to do we are going to simply open our thony python id and inside utils.py we need to import our gtts module so go here and import gtts like this way from gtts import g and all the way capital tts like this way from gtts import okay like this way from gtts import gtts and just save it now we successfully call our module okay now in utils.py if i scroll the script okay here it is as you can see we have here category name so category name is basically our classes so if i print here print the category category name this is the variable okay so category name if i print here just save the code and run again detect.py so friends here it is as you can see is detected a person also it's printing a name a class name okay if i go like this way as you can see it's printing a person as a class name because we say here 
we print here okay we print a category name so category name is basically our objects name so we want to simply save this category name in a list okay list format so simply we know what we have inside our category name so we are going to create a list list dot append and inside that we are going to mention list dot append and inside that we are going to mention the category name variable so just copy and paste here like this way simple list dot append and category name and here where we have a for loop simply here first we need to mention list is equal to empty list list is equal to empty list okay simple just save it now if we go here where we have written image so here simply we can print our lists okay so simply mention print a list list okay so if i save the code if i run code again we need to go uh, on uh, detect.py and just run detect.py okay it will start our web camera and here it is as you can see it says we have person and chair it's also detected a chair okay person and chair okay so we successfully create a list okay if i go like this way as you can see we create object list simple now what we want to do i create here another repository for today's session okay so let me make like this way and uh, here it is as you can see i have created another repository raspberry pi aitf i will mention the link okay you need to simply copy and paste link that's it then what we want to do inside that i have create here a speak obj.txt file okay so we need to clone the repository so just click on code copy the link and open terminal and we are going to run the command like this way git clone and paste the link that's it and then just hit enter it will clone our repository okay now we have our repository now what we want to do we want to go file manager and our repository raspberry pi aitf okay and this is what our txt file so open with text editor okay and here it is as you can see i have create here a speak function which basically convert our text into speech and this is the counting program it is basically count the frequency of our object simple so we are going to simply copy paste these two function okay so let's just start with first count okay so first we need to copy from here just copy it the count frequency function copy it open tony editor and inside the utils.py okay inside utils.py simply where we start visualize function first we need to paste our count frequency function that's it as you can see i have paste it okay now what we want to do we want to simply copy our function name copy it and where we have our list here we have our list as we print okay so simply we need to press control v it will copy paste our function name and inside that inside that we need to call our list list simple so if i save the code and here so here what we want to do i have already mentioned the speak function but first what we want to do we want to cross check so what i am going to do i am going to comment a speak function and then we are going to print a okay it will give us a idea print a simple save the code so again come to the detect.py and run the code so friends as you can see our camera is started and it's detected our object which is person okay so now what we want to do simply press r from the keyboard okay so just press r and here it is as you can see inside shell it says we have person okay i just stop the code so when i press the r from keyboard it says we have person and the frequency of persons means how many person we have and we have another object which is chair and how many chair we have okay so if i again go to the utils.py and we have here our count frequency function as you can see i have mentioned here a condition if we press r from the keyboard then it will save object and object frequency name okay simple now what we want to do we want to simply paste our another function which is our speak function so simply copy it from here copy speak function okay 
copy it and just open Tony Python ID and here we are going to mention our another function which is pick function okay so def simple save the code so now we have our speak function so we are going to simply delete print a and we are going to uncomment our function speak and inside that of course we need to pass our a variable now if i save the code and again go to the detect.py if i run the code and as you can see it's detected me as a person okay so now if i press r button from the keyboard so as you can see friends we have here error so error we are going to check what we have os is not defined of course what we want to do we want to import our os module okay so i forget to import os module so go to the utils.py again and here we need to mention import os because mpg321 player okay as you can see mpg321 player is our system command and for running our system command we need import os module okay so just import os module from gtts import gtts then import os module these two model we need to mention inside utils.py okay simple save the code now again we are going to run the code detect.py run the code and as you can see it's detecting me as a person so simply we are going to press r button As you can see friends, it said the person 1, chair 1. Again, let me. As you can see now, person 1. So we successfully convert our object detection text into speech with the help of GTTS. As you can see with the help of where is our utils.py. Here it is what our utils.py. Okay. So GTTS from GTTS import GTTS and import OS module. So this is how you can simply convert object detection with text to speech. Okay. So I hope you will learn something from this video. We will meet our next video. Till then, thank you. Take care and bye-bye.